So the Malikis, when they offer Salah, they put their hands at the side. But when we read in the Hadith of Abu Dawud, poem number one, Hadith number 755 and 757 says that you should tie your hands below the navel, but it's a Zaif Hadith. Both these Hadith are Zaif, according to Imam Abu Dawud. Abu Dawud, volume number one, Hadith number 756 says that keep the hand above the navel, which is more strong than the Zaif Hadith. But the next Hadith, Abu Dawud, volume number one, Hadith number 758, it says that when you keep your hands during Salah on your chest, and it says this is a stronger Hadith, though this is a Mursal Hadith. Mursal means there is a link missing in between. But in the commentary, it says it is the strongest than the other Hadith. Even if you read the Hadith of Sayyid ibn Khazaimah, it says that the Prophet kept his hand on his chest when he offered Salah. Even that is a Mursal Hadith, but along with other Hadith, Sheikh Nasr al Albani has classified it as Sahih. So it is the strongest of all the Hadith where to keep your hand. The strongest is keep on the chest. So when I offer my Salah, I keep my hands on my chest. Therefore I say I am a Pakka Malaki. Imam Malik said, if you find any of my fatwa which goes against Allah and his Rasul, you reject my fatwa. So if the Maliki say that Imam Malik said, keep your hands on the chest, the story is different. But assuming he said that, but he said, if you find my fatwa which goes against Allah and his Rasul, reject my fatwa. So I rejected his fatwa and I keep my hand on the chest. Therefore I am a Pakka Malaki, 100%.